peak of the filter uh, system I got. It just arrived today. I need some more fittings for it, but we'll get that situated. I ordered them on Amazon, the fittings that I need. But this is a uh, two-stage filter system to give me that spotless car wash rinse afterwards. It's actually, uh, this two-stage filter is meant for aquatic uh, I guess aquariums and stuff like that and we're gonna try it out I'm no expert but you know we're gonna try it out these are the DI filters DI nation filters with resin bed and it changes colors from bottom to top until the uh, DI nation filter resin Right now it's blue. I don't know if you can tell by the color on the screen, but it changes yellow from the bottom and it comes up yellow as the resin uh, deteriorates. And when it turns all the way yellow, then you'll replace this filter or buy one maybe that you can just uh, pull the cap off the bottom and uh, put your own DI resin back in there. So we'll see how this works. Hi, welcome back. I'm Todd with the TW Home Show. And today I'm going to show you uh, what I'm working with. I'm trying to create my own uh, filter system for a uh, spotless free car wash to take care of this nice looking car right here, as well as our other family cars. Um, I ordered most of this stuff through Amazon and uh, I showed this in a previous video of what, uh, what I was going to try to set up here with this dual aquatic uh, filter system. I had to wait for my fittings to come in. I had to <clears throat> get these uh, reducer fittings uh, that will fit on a standard garden hose connection on both sides. They didn't come with the uh, filter unit. Um, I also ordered these filters here uh, for normal contaminants for the uh, entry filter. That's going to be the first stage. And the second stage, uh, what we're going to have here is a deionization, color changing uh, filter, resin bed filter. And like I said, this is used for aquatic uh, aquariums and stuff like that, I guess, to keep the aquarium water filtered and keep it clean. And... Uh, I've done some study on YouTube videos and through the internet and I think this may work uh, with both of these filters in here to keep the spots off. I've also recently installed a water softener on this house so uh, with all those factors combined I believe we might might be able to get this to work. I noticed the sticker here it says uh, warning max water pressure 80 psi uh, I also study on the internet. Usually a household pressure coming in from the city is anywhere from 30 to 80 PSI. So <clears throat> I was really concerned that maybe, I, I know that says max pressure, but I was concerned that it might uh, not have enough pressure after the water goes through both filter chambers and comes out where you're going to be squeezing your trigger to uh, apply your rinse on your vehicle. So I don't know if it's going to be a drip out of there or if it's going to uh, have at least a good uh, wall sprinkle of uh, water or, or what have you. 
so we'll see how that goes usually when you go through a automatic car wash or something like that with the uh, filtered water spotless system uh, the water does uh, come out less of a jet say for instance uh, and it uh, usually just gently waters over your vehicle uh, just to release the uh, hardened water off of the vehicle and make it roll off so I'm gonna take you outside and uh, and let's just set this up I'm not gonna anchor this just yet with the screws I want to uh, just hook it up laying on the ground and we'll see how it does stay tuned all right we're back outside here now and I wanted to show you what I have here so far I've already hooked this stuff up the other day I've got two units here uh, retractable hose units very nice they swivel on their bracket both of them are identical they're 50 foot hose reels and uh, it goes back into the spigot here I got a new spigot I'm going to put on too because this one's kind of leaky coming out the handle uh, but I got it going into a Y here and uh, with these easy levers to turn uh, I'm going to make this one the uh, car washing reel this one's going to go through the filter and this will be the spot free rinse hose system you know so we can turn that on when we're ready for the spot free rinse near the end okay so stay tuned i'm going to go ahead and get my stuff here that i purchased that dual stage filter and we'll hook it up and see what we got here see if it's going to work stage filter, second stage filter, got my pliers, all of the components here. This here, uh, I also got, this is pretty cool, this is going to go on the car wash uh, reel, and you can pour your soap mixture in here, easy squeeze handle, siphons the uh, soap out onto your vehicle, soap it all up. And then you can rinse, uh, scrub it uh, with your microfiber scrubber or brush, what, what have you. Once you're done putting that soap on, this is a quick release here. Just pull this back, this comes off, and now you've just got your regular sprayer. So I thought that was pretty unique. I'll have to do a little... Uh, video on that see how that works and I'll let you know if it works well or not all right so let's get to work here first I want to take this off we're gonna go have this water go through the filter tank system first this fitting here is not a loose turning female fitting on here so I'll have to make sure I can turn that hose so I'm going to tighten this and this is plastic in here so I don't want to over tighten it just want to snug it down If I don't get it sealed so it's not leaking all the way, I may have to take this back out and put some nylon, Teflon tape on it, on the threads first. But we'll try it like this first. I just mainly want to see what type of pressure I'm going to get out of this thing after it goes through both filters.
that seems pretty good. As you can see here, it's labeled. This is your supply line. It's going to go in here. This is your filtered water coming out here. So we'll put our supply line hose on first. And you know what? I want to check to see if there's a uh, washer in there. Yeah, there is the rubber washer. Make sure you have that in there. Sure, hope this works. This will be a really neat feature. If it does, you have a spot free rinse right in your own driveway. And I'm trying it out for you guys, so you won't have to waste your money unless it works. Okay, now we're going to have our filtered water going through our new reel here. our first stage sediment filter put in here first. DI resin filter in next. This resin changes colors too. It's supposed to change. Uh, it's blue right now. It's supposed to change from uh, blue to yellow. And the yellow works its way up from the bottom. When this turns all the way yellow, the resin inside, that's when it's, it's time to replace the filter. So here it is, the dual stage aquarium filter. This first stage has a sediment filter in it. The second stage filter unit is a DI resin filter. So this, this hose reel right here, that will be for regular washing. When you're done washing, you can turn this other line coming in here that line green goes to the filter you can turn that on and that feeds this hose reel for your spot free rinsing